Hello everyone. Today I am back with another beautiful question on binary search tree. So the question is, construct a BBST using sorted array. So first of all, what is a BBST? We know what a BST is, but what actually is BBST? So it stands for balanced binary search tree. So what is a balanced binary search tree? First of all, it should be a BST, right? So for every node, all the nodes on left side, left subtree should be smaller. All the nodes on the right subtree should be greater. And then what is a balanced BBST? So, I mean, apart from being a BST, for every node, difference between left subtree height and right subtree height should be less than or equal to 1 or maybe we can talk about mod of it mod of left subtree height comma right subtree height should be less than equal to one okay so let's just see what this is so for this node what is its left subtree height minus right subtree height this is nothing but zero because left subtree height is zero i mean no left subtree right subtree right zero 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 minus zero zero for this node left subtree height is one right subtree height is zero right so difference is what one for this node left subtree height is two right subtree height is two so the difference between left subtree height and right subtree height is nothing but zero here i'm measuring the height in terms of number of nodes okay so for this one left subtree height is two nodes for this one right subtree height is two nodes now similarly for six and seven also the difference between left subtree height and right subtree height is respectively one and zero so for no node the difference between left subtree height and right subtree height is uh, greater than one it's always less than equal to one so this is a bbst balanced binary search tree now let's talk about this one let's check for all the nodes so for this node left subtree height right subtree height difference is zero for this one left subtree height is one right subtree height is zero so difference is what one now let's talk about the next node this node left subtree height is two right subtree height is zero so difference is what two it means what this is not a bbst i mean i don't need to check any further if any single node violates the property at that moment itself we can say this is not a balanced binary search tree not a balanced binary search tree so hope this is clear what is a balanced binary search tree now the question is we, we are given a sorted array we have to create a balanced binary search tree so the first idea that comes to our mind is why not call insertion i mean we i already have made a video on how to do insertion in a bst so we can call insertions for, for all the things one by one so first i have five inserted five in a bst so this is how my bst looks like now 10 comes now for this 5, 10 should come to the right side. So that's how I attach 10. Then 15 comes. 15 will come where? 15 is greater than 5, so we'll come to the right. 15 is greater than 10, so we'll come to the right. So 15 comes here. Now comes 20. 20 is greater than 5, so we'll go on to right subtree. 20 is greater than 10, so we'll go to right subtree. 20 is greater than 15, so we'll go to right subtree. This way, this is how 25 and 30 will also come. The same will happen for 25 and 30. So they will also come here. 25 comes here. And then 30 comes here. Right, everyone? Now you can see this is a BST, but not a balanced by this tree, right? So this tree is skewed. Hence, not a BBST. I mean, I obviously you can see it visually. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to actually calculate, but if you want, just in case you want, this is not following the property of PBST. Right subtree height is 2, left subtree height is 0, so difference is minus 2. After taking mod, it's 2, but what it should be, it should be less than or equal to 1. The same will happen for 15, 10, and 5. So this idea 1 fails actually, which is the most obvious idea that comes to our mind. Now let's talk about idea 2. Now friends, I have this array. I want to make the tree balanced. I mean, the difference of height 
should be less than equal to one so basically it can be one or zero so what do you think i mean basically what i want i want this tree to be as balanced as possible that's what the concept of bbst is so what do you think out of all these nodes all these array values should be the root value i'm 100 percent sure by now you have guessed it should be the middle element 20 right so what i will do i will make 20 as my root and for left subtree i will pass my left half of the array and for right subtree i will pass my right half of the array i mean here i chose the middle element as 20 you could have chosen it as 15 because this is there are even elements so two made elements now what what we have done is this middle element we have selected root selected uh, selected as root all the elements on the left hand side we are saying you form the left subtree all the elements on the right side we are saying you form the right subtree now out of these array elements if i have to form a tree here what do you think again should be the root 10 should be root and the left part of it should go to left subtree right part of it should go to right subtree so this is how it will look like 20 10 will come here to the left side i will be left with 5 only to the right side i'll be left with 15 only similarly here i have to choose one element let's just say we choose 25 okay or here what did we did in case of two mid, uh, mid elements we choose the second middle so let's just choose 30 so we choose 30 to be root to be root of the right subtree and whatever is on the left side of it will go to left subtree so this is how it will look like 30 and on the left side i'll be left with 25 since here i have only these single elements they will form the corresponding nodes 5 15 and 25 and you can see this is a balanced binary search tree Okay, you can check the height of any node height difference of any node so hope it makes sense and logically it makes sense also code will be pretty simple but one thing you have to understand is when i decided that initially my array is from 0 to 1 to 0 1 2 3 4 5 initially my array was from 0 to 5 now this middle element was selected as root now for the left side i I want uh, for left subtree i want these array elements to be used now i won't create a new array right what do we do in these cases we pass a start and then end which represents the current area area that we can use so the start to end will initially contains 0 to n minus 1 always we will choose the middle element and mid is equal to start plus end by 2 then for middle element i'll create an root node root is equal to new node with the array element array of mid and then what i will call recursively for left subtree and right subtree by diagram you can see that it's going to be a recursive code so for left hand side i made the call that i pass the array and left subtree will contain what array elements from start to mid minus one because middle is the one we choose right now for the current node so start to mid minus one now this is how left subtree is created i have to attach it to my left child right so root dot left will be equal to this then similarly root dot right will be equal to create right subtree right subtree will be in the array from mid plus one to the end and in the end we'll return root correct now what should be the base case so let's just analyze for this one initially i had array 0 to 5 okay let's do it let's do it code by code <laughs> initially i had this array from 0 to 5 so we chose the mid element mid is what 0 plus 5 by 2 so 0 plus 5 by 2 will give me what 2 so second index element will make it as a root element so 15 will become my root element this time we are choosing what i mean the example i gave you there i was choosing the second middle element here we are choosing the first middle element anything is fine for left subtree the array will be passed from 0 to 1 index for right subtree the array that will be passed is what 3 to 5 index now let's just see when we are here when we have to create a balanced binary search tree from this part 
again start is 0 and end is 1 here in this particular call so we again choose the middle element 0 plus 1 divided by 2 which will give us 0 so 0th element will be the middle element and then we'll make a call for the left and call for the right so this element 10 will become the middle element for the left side the call that will be made is start to mid minus 1 currently when we were here what was start our start was 0 and was 1 mid came out to be 0 then 0th element 0th element is not 10 it's 5 we made it as the root now we made call for the left side the left side what did we pass start to mid minus 1 so 0 to what do we pass 0 to mid minus 1 is minus 1 and for right what did we pass for right we made the call for mid plus 1 to end mid plus 1 is 1 to 1 so here a node will get created we don't want any node to be created here so base case is pretty simple that is if start is greater than end in this case we can return null sum simply that's how the code will be now coming to time complexity friends what do you think it's pretty easy to guess all the array elements for them i mean we will have a particular function call in which that particular node will get created so total order of n functions will be there m complexity is order of n space will be what order of h because what is happening at one time this much thing will be in the function stack then this 5 will get removed and this much will come to the function stack so space complexity will be what nothing but order of h and here order of h will be log of n because tree is equally divided okay so hope it makes sense to all of you thank you so much